Good morning, everyone. What a weekend. Again, another history lesson for our children in the making. You know, of course, that yesterday, the leader of the African National Congress, Nelson Mandela, walked to freedom, holding the hand of his wife, Winnie. Nelson and Winnie Mandela's daughter and a student at Boston University joins us this morning. And the same question everyone is asking. <laughs> Aren't you absolutely thrilled, Zenny? Yes, I am. Um, I'm excited and at the same time a little sad. Uh, I was very excited to see mommy and daddy walking hand in hand, a thing that I never thought I would see, you know. Uh, so that was uplifting for me, to see him walking out of Victor Fester to his people. Uh, and I think he must have been overwhelmed. Must have been. Mm -hmm. What's the sadness? The sadness is um, I'm, when I was watching them, uh, I have an older brother who died about 20 years ago. And my grandma has passed on, and grandpa has passed on, and a few of my aunts have passed on. And I was thinking, wouldn't it have been nice if they'd all been here? You know, just to see this moment that everybody thought uh, would we'd never see. And here we are. And I was just wishing that they were with us to share this moment. Well, they are with you somewhere, they aren't are, they? They, they are. probably do yeah. know. You have said and expressed a concern for your father's sense of reality. And you and I have been talking about this this morning. To be in a place even for three or four weeks like a hospital and walk out, everyone knows the feeling of being disoriented. To be behind prison for 27 years, you are concerned about that, aren't you? I am. Um, I'm concerned that he's, uh, he's been in prison for so long. And it's one thing to hear that children are like this, uh, there's makeup, you know, women are becoming more outspoken and things like that. And it's one thing to see it and to live it. The psychological problems we will have as a family. We haven't had a, a dad in the house. Now we have to adjust to having him at home. He has to adjust to us. He has to adjust to the noise of children. He has to adjust to all those other things, the noise. And he has to adjust to just playing his own time, to have his time to himself. Whereas in prison, he had regulated time. People did things for him, and he did things, you know. So. That's, that's what my concern is all about. Your mother, though, have you talked with her s since yesterday morning? I haven't been able to reach them. <laughs> because they are all over the country. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she must be absolutely thrilled. She mm -hmm. kept the fight going. She was a tremendous spokesperson for your family and the ideals of the African National Congress. Uh, now to have him by her side must be, you're right, though, an adjustment to some degree. It is. It is, because now they have to adjust to themselves. Mm -hmm. But um, I know we will work this through. We've been a strong family. We've always loved each other. And uh, we have a big family support. Other members of the family, I know, will work this through. You were a very tiny baby when your father mm -hmm. went to prison. Mm -hmm. You saw him a couple of times a year in prison, is that right? Well, uh, when, I, when he went into prison, I was two years old. And there's an age restriction limit in South Africa for political prisoners, 4 to 16. You couldn't see your parents in jail. So the first time I saw him, I was 16 years old. So although he's a great leader for a great number of people, in a way, as a daughter, you've been cheated. I have. I have. I don't have a father, you know. Uh, to me, he's just a figurehead. And... Uh, it's, it, you know, you want to, there are some things you want to talk about, there are some questions I want to ask, and I can never pick up the phone and say, hey, Dad, I want this, or can you help me with that? So it has been an adjust, it has been hard. But on the other hand, um, I understand why he's in that position, why both my parents had to take up the fight and take up the struggle for the black people in South Africa. Do the American people realize that there has been an entire generation that has been really lost to the African struggle uh, in terms of education? No, I don't think so. Um, as uh, you must recall, in 76, when the students decided to take up arms and demonstrate against inferior education in Soweto, that generation up till today has been totally lost because uh, Still, education is inferior for black kids in South mm -hmm. Africa. They still struggle. They are forced to learn a language they will never use, which is Afrikaans. So there's an enormous issue here in terms of, of putting these people on their feet. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. isn't just a matter, as the conservatives say, of splitting the land. It's so much more, isn't it's it? It's so much more. It is so much more. And uh, 
One thing is with the black people, we are all so united. We don't think of ourselves in terms of I'm Zulu, I'm Tos, I'm Blah. We think of ourselves as South Africans. Mm -hmm. um, when your father sees the president, will he have something to say in terms of thank you for the sanctions? Did the sanctions work? Did they help? Sanctions helped. World pressure helped. And I say that sanctions should be more intensified now and not laxed. Because if, in fact, people start to now give in, then it's as if uh, there's a draw. I mean, yes. it isn't, you're it's right. It's as if uh, F.W. de Klerk has done a good job, and that's it. You and know. has he done a good job, Zanny, or is it too little too late? For me, I said I was expecting much, much more. Uh, the reality of the fact is we still cannot vote in South Africa. My Your father, father comes free, out a free man, but... but he still cannot vote. Yeah. Apartheid exists. You see peaceful demonstrations and you see police shooting children. You still see the pictures on television today as 10 years ago. So what has changed? What will change? What do you feel will happen now? And is your father safe in this whole struggle? Uh, my father is safe in terms that uh, his people are there to look out for him. Uh, of course, there is the Conservative Party to think of. There's the extreme right wing, the Avia and all that which happens in every struggle. Mm -hmm. There will be people who will uh, be on the opposition who will try and harm him. But I am confident that the ANC, the UDF, are going to take care of his security. Yesterday, at the very end of your father's address to his people, which was really something to hear, he made a comment. He said, and I paraphrase probably badly, but he said, don't act alone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't do your own thing here. You know, uh, Keep in, mi in mind that we're all together in this. That's a very important message, isn't it? Yes. We are all together in this black, white, whatever color, we are all together. And it, it's us South Africans who have to bring about change back home with the help of the international community. Will you go home once you finish your BU education? Yeah, I'll go home. And what, what, what role will you play? Do you envision yourself playing a role? Well, I don't live in South Africa. I live in Swaziland, which is a, a country nearby South Africa. And I hope to go back and play a role uh, especially in bringing about programs for women and children because I'm really interested in that field and I feel that women, especially black women in the developing world, really have a problem in terms of uh, children and welfare and all that. So I'm, I want to go back and work with that. How about your three children seeing their grandfather uh, yesterday? I mean, did they express things to you? They were extremely excited, uh, but, you know, the children... Uh, have sort of said, you know, they keep saying granddad is going to be out, granddad is going to be out. And when they finally saw him, they were so excited, they just couldn't believe it. What a feeling. And what a, what, what a feeling to be a part of this in terms of watching. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't even imagine what it must be like to now be in the center of all of this. But yeah. you do know we wish you well. And, uh, and we hope good things for your father and for your people. And uh, it was wonderful to watch and it was wonderful to meet you, Zenny. Thank you very Thank you. much.